Y'all see that back there? That's right. We about to have some fun. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, this is what we got to work with right here. Got a uh, new to us farm. A few months ago, one of our, our current landowners uh, inherited this piece of property. And uh, anyway, uh, been a cattle farm for probably my entire lifetime, whatever. Current landlord's on another farm. Uh, asked me if I'd be interested in farming it. And I, of course, I, I told him, yeah, I'd be, be glad to help him out. But what we got here is it's probably about a 50 acre farm. Out of all of this though, I think maybe about 32 acres is gonna be tillable once we get it, uh, once we get it cleaned up. And you can tell uh, hadn't been any hay cut off this in quite a while, hadn't been anything grazed. We got a lot of residue here. You see all that sage grass out there. That's a very key indicator of low pH and it's gotten too late in the uh, winter and spring to be able to pull soil test on it get it tested and then get off the lime applied before I'd like to plant it so this first year as uh, you know we're scratching any kind of profit our goal is to get this farm in shape uh, you know get a crop growing on it get rid of a lot of this uh, excess ve vegetation no we're not going to make much profit on it but we just want to get it to where we can actually really do something with it as far as fertility and everything else. So we're going to plant soybeans on this farm uh, this year. Hope we make a few bushels off of it. And then, uh, you know, once we got this farm cleared up, shaped up, the dirt work done, then we'll go in, pull our soil test this fall or winter and apply what we need for next year. And then hopefully from there, start making this into a really productive farm. For the most part, uh, most of this 30 acres lays real good. I mean, it's pretty nice and flat, especially for this part of the area. We do have one big eyesore right there. You see that big old radio tower? And then we got uh, power lines feeding that radio tower. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt because it's got like eight sets of guide wires going down there. We're gonna have to farm around. But my landlord says that the contract on this tower is up at the end of this year and it's supposed to be in the contract to where they remove it. So hopefully just one year of maybe two years of farming around this, that thing and then it'll be gone. But you can see being a pasture farm, it's kind of grown up a little bit. You know, we got cedar trees here we need to get rid of, falling off tree there. Got some more trees and everything. Got some uh, right around there. So I figure probably a day, day and a half, uh, I can do what I need to do with a track hoe over here. And then hopefully maybe I can get a dozer to do, do some smoothing up in places. I know I'm definitely going to bring my new dirt pan over here. Going to get a pretty good workout for a couple days there. The place that I normally rent a track hoe from doesn't have any available uh, this spring. So uh, I call, called my buddy Jordan, asked him, hey, you mind if I give you some money for use of your track hoe for, for a couple days whenever you don't need it? He said, sure. Uh, brought it out here. So that's what we're going to get started on today, getting some of these trees and other junk to uh, get it, to uh, get them cleared out where we can make this a little bit more farmable. First order of business though, is going to be to get us a, an, an entrance to where we can actually get equipment in and out. So that's definitely the highest priority right now. Clear all this stuff out where we have a nice uh, wide entrance to get in and out of here with our equipment. But anyway, let me get this uh, sucker off the trailer and we'll bring you back. Start knocking some trees down. Oh man, look at that. Jordan's so nice, he even left me a packet of Twinkies in here. He must know what I like. All right, like I said, first order of business is gonna be to get rid of, uh, or get this field entrance opened up wider. Y'all forgive me, it's been a while since I've been on track. Oh, gonna take me a couple minutes to get used to the controls, but. In fact, these controls are backwards. Let's see if I can figure out how to change them up here. They, they're not what I'm used to. 
All right, that's much better. That is what I'm used to right there. I thought something was off. Sense of sparks. I wonder if this fence is electrified. It shouldn't be. It don't look like it's in any shape to be electrified. Let's try and get this tree down. I don't want to dig close to the road, no telling what kind of utilities might be down there. Get out here where I can kind of push it away from the road. Definitely don't want this thing coming out on an oncoming car. Timber! God, I love a track hoe. Maybe one of these days I'll break down and buy me one. Looks a little bit different now here, doesn't it? Sorry, my camera died on me. Uh, I, I, I thought I had it shut off, but it was continuously recording, so uh, uh, didn't get a lot of this, but we spent about uh, three hours getting all of this uh, cleaned up where the loading chute was and everything, all these trees, and right there was where my uh, 
original field entrance was and we got a nice big area to get in here and uh get over here get this cleaned up dozer or tractor or something like that we'll get all of this shaped up uh looking nice now that we got that done we can start focusing on the uh on the rest of the farm we got a little rain out here uh last night so it, it's a little soppy uh we still got a few more trees out here won't take just a minute and get them plucked up out and then we'll start going all the way around the edge stripping uh, back uh limbs and everything uh maybe try and get those uh, fence lines back uh back just a little bit and then we're all gonna finish up down here because there's some more area i'm gonna clean off i don't know how much because it can kind of get to get steep but that's going to take uh the majority of the work and i really only got uh the rest of today and probably some of tomorrow time i got allotted and i don't want to waste uh, all the time doing that down there but then ignoring ignoring the rest of the farm so we'll get uh, we'll get all that done first and wind up back there, see how much time I got left and how much I can get, get cleaned up. But uh, it's definitely starting to look quite a bit better. Step one of the Farm Restore program is underway. We just got done going down that tree line by the road and I was going to start work on this tree line right here and then I looked up and uh, I don't know if you can see we got some power lines and pretty low power lines right next to this tree line coming down through here so I do believe I'm, I'm going to leave this tree line alone I mean so really don't even need to be planting up under this power line because uh uh, my combine probably get up under but i know my cotton picker for sure will will hit it so i mean we're going to be uh we're going to, have to plant you know probably 15 20 feet away from this tree line anyway so i'm gonna leave it alone and just work my way back over here to this uh tree line and get started on it i've actually hit a power line with a track hoe before and uh it, it, it was it's not an experience i want to do again I had I had one whole street completely pissed off at me for about five hours till they got it fixed. All right, we've been working our way around the tree line and got over here uh, by the radio tower. This is what we got to deal with. We got a building there. We got the power lines going to it, and then we got six sets of guide wires. Uh, there's a lower one, and then we've got some more that stretch out over here. Same way over here on this side of the tower and then uh, back over here that I don't know how much of this land we can farm because I know I can't farm up under the uh, lower ones here. So, you know, this might be like three to four acres we got to live out. Uh, I know I can get up under the ones that go up, go up higher, but uh this is one of the best spots on this whole field and it's being taken up by this tower so i hope the new uh, landowners can keep after the company hold them to the contract 
get this thing dismantled whenever their contract runs out at the end of this year. Either that or uh, landlords get compensated for the actual use of this ground, which from what I've heard from them has not been the case the last several years. back for another day hope to get done with this farm in about half a day today we got uh, uh, worked all the way around uh, that side and then we got down here got some pretty big trees we was trying to get up last night and then we still got to go right around here and then we got a pretty big uh, patch right here gonna try and straighten up that uh, fence line there this farm is definitely starting to take shape though. Uh, still gonna need need a whole lot of work. This is just the well, first step in the rehab project. Uh, I'd like to try and get a dozer over here for about a half a day or a day uh, to clean up a lot better where my track hose run and then get my dirt pan over here, fill in some washes and level out some places. And then of course address the fertility side. You know, we'll do that, we'll do We'll start doing doing that this winter after we get one crop off of it and you know get a lot of this vegetation removed where we can get some good uh, soil samples pulled. Overall it's not going to be the easiest farm that I work but uh, in general if we ever get that radio tower out of here uh, this will be a, be a pretty nice little field. Looks like probably going to add probably somewhere in ballpark of 33, 34 acres or so just kind of depending how much of this I can plant down here after I get some more of these trees removed. And then like areas like this, uh, got a pile of dirt right there and they try and get rid of, and then uh, got, you know, got a pretty deep depression there. You know, if I can kind of get this area shaped up here, it'll add another uh, acre or two. I'm gonna start out, get this tree out of the way cause this will open up another nice big area. It's a pretty big one here. See if we can get the roots cut up. Some of these limbs down is blocking me.
I run uh, track hose with a mechanical thumb and I've run track hose with a hydraulic thumb and uh, my uh, hydraulic thumb is definitely much preferred. Uh, I, I've actually run a track hose without a thumb before and if I ever get a track hose, a thumb is going to be a must have. We got some little cattle thing, metal thing there. Ain't no telling what we're gonna find on this farm. Like a part of a feeding ring. I hope there's not a bunch of big surprises in this grass when I put the planter in here. See if we can push this bad boy over here. Oh yeah. Timber! Boy, it's a big one. Try and get it rolled out of the hole here. All right, before I haul that tree off, I'm gonna go up here in this pile of dirt and dig around. Looks like they did a bunch of feeding here. I'm gonna make sure this pile of dirt ain't just a bunch of like twine and stuff all pushed up in this pile. So I don't wanna go to spreading it and then just spread it, make a big mess with twine. Yep, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. See that twine hanging down? Crap. Why don't people just take their wrap, net wrap with them? That will wrap all up in my planter, uh, Closing wheels and everything else. It looks like it's pretty well disintegrated though. Maybe it won't be a problem. That's some the good rich dirt right there that I sure would like to uh, spread across this area right here. Be good on this hillside. Now, I don't see any more, just that one one thing of wrap. Maybe it's not gonna be too bad. Maybe I can actually use this dirt. All right, let me see if I can get this thing moved over to the pile. It's a uh, looks a lot bigger on the ground than it did up in the air. We'll just drag it back over here to where I got other junk piled up. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get it placed in that pile hole. Oh no, I won't be able to lift it up on it, but if I can get it placed in front of it, that will be good enough. Woo, she's heavy! Limbs grabbing. I'm. I'm gonna have to try and break some of these limbs off, lighten the weight. God, I love a track hoe.
go. I do believe that's probably about as good as I'm going to get there. Alright, the landlord doesn't want me taking these bigger uh, trees down. They want to leave them, so... Yeah, I could, uh, I could form that area, but, uh, well, some of those trees... Like that one right there, I can get it down, but once I got it down, ain't no way I could move it anyway, so not a big deal. We're going to let them be and uh, go around over this way and finish stripping uh, limbs and pushing back tree lines. got the initial phase of uh, project farm done we got uh, all the we got all the trees and brush and everything cleared out now it's just a matter of coming in and cleaning up uh, where we did all that track hoe work uh, hopefully I can get a dozer over here if not I think I can do a pretty good job with a tractor and front end loader tractor and blade and then 
then we'll come come in with a disc and do all and try and smooth it up and see if we can get a few more acres out of this farm so so anyway that's going to do it for the field work for now time to get back in the shop time to get some of that equipment ready to go to the field uh, appreciate y'all watching we'll see you in the next one